I just want to show you um, this bed here is full of bluebells and columbine and all kinds of things. And the columbine you can see is blooming, looking beautiful. But the tulips, all the tulips in this bed, there's yellow. What do you want about? You want me to throw something for you, I know. You're rambunctious. All these tulips, look, they're below the uh, apple blossom. This is one of my favorite trees, it's delicious. But the tulips were all planted. They even have some of them are like this right here. I've never planted any tulips in this flower bed. And all these tulips were planted by my grandfather. <coughs> uh, my grandfather died in 1990. Here you go. He was 90 when he died, or in his 91st year. And he hadn't done any gardening in years. So these tulips have lived here for the last, what does that make it? Uh, 1990, um, 2000, 30, over 30 years, because he probably didn't plant these in the last five or 10 years of his life because the island, the garden went completely wild. So all these tulips that are in here are, have been going on and on for the last 30 plus years. You can see some of my tiger lilies are coming up. So tulips can survive. And look at these with their red um, trim. Now a cat, I bent over to do this and a cat has just jumped on my shoulders, of course. <laughs> I bent over and he, he's jumped on my shoulder. Anyway, I've got to go up and check the yos. I'm going off today to talk after the documentary film that um, Deirdre Omani's um, made, produced and made um, down in Wexford. I'll be talking about dung beetles. Uh, any of you here in Ireland or if you're visiting in the next few months, you can go and see this film at the Douglas Hyde Gallery, which is in Trinity as well as other aspects of the exhibition. So do go and see it. I'm gonna go now and uh, check the sheep with a cat on my shoulders. <laughs> He's such a traveler. He doesn't mind me walking with him on my shoulder. Oh, I've got to stop here. This stuff here, Let's see if I can get a bloom. This stuff smells heavenly. You liking the smell of it too. We're both liking the smell of it. Oh, it smells so good. I can't remember what it's called though. And then this is the beech arch planted by my great, great grandfather. I don't think I've shown it to you often, but there you go. It looks like the hidden garden of somewhere, a fairyland garden. Because if you go inside, the branches are all twisted. Look at that, it's wonderful. And then of course, there's that gate. Now as children, this gate was always closed to keep the rabbits and things out of the garden because it was vegetables and fruit and all those kind of things. And that gate would be closed. And we as children once put a bucket of water up there so, to, so it would fall on top of my grandfather's head. That was one of our bold things that we did as bold children. <laughs> it was a plastic bucket and it didn't harm him and it actually missed him. We were very disappointed that it didn't, he didn't get soaked. So let me turn this around Half so you can way. see. I always forget to mow and strim, but that's okay. It's full of bluebells and the cow parsley's coming out and it comes along here. This is another apple blossom here. This is a huge rose that has climbed up this apple tree. This apple tree is leaning over. It was one of the espaliered apples. You can see that side branch, but it escaped. Oop! Oh, the cat just jumped off my shoulders and onto the fence. You clever kitty. So this is cow parsley and bluebells on a garden path. And this is the huge pear tree that we genetically found was planted in 1735, I think. Anyway, I am now gonna go 
through this gate and check on the flock. And the dogs are going to drink out of the water. Smallies can go under the gate. So who's here? Ah, I was wondering where her lamb was. She's there grazing. And her lamb is over here. Java, leave it. Maya, leave it. Going mammy, mammy, mammy. There we go. Nobody else is in the garden. Look at how muddy it's gotten. It's absolutely gotten mucky, this gateway. But the flock is all up here in the garden. I'm going to be moving them soon. You're looking very comfortable. Stargazer, Kestrel, and her two lambs doing really, really well. Hoggett, Hoggett. Uh, no, you're not a Hoggett. You have a baby somewhere. You just don't like sheep, do you? are crying. Do you know how to get out? Do you guys know how to get out? Come on. Come on. Go on. Get out. Come on. Get out. Get out. There we go. They must have rolled under the uh, fence. Come on, Brindle. Out. Inca, come on. Oh, you can get under the fence. Ooh. Brindle, you got head punched, head butted. They must have rolled under there. Ah. Uh, and I've just put some cheap shit on my face. My lovely clean face to go down to Wexford. I guess I've got to go and wash my face again. There she is with the triplet. Your triplet is looking very well. Oh, Kestrel. You're such a lovely girl. Okay, everybody's fine. Actually, Kestrel, you can wash my hand in your wool. Hey, 
Hey, Ear Feather, how are you? Okay, I better go and wash my face and get ready to drive south. There's Lilac. Remember, she was the one with the. Oh, I got headbutted. Thanks, Ear Feather. My clean jeans. <laughs> Are you having a hard time getting a drink of water, Bear? <laughs> you good boy. Okay, I'm moving you tomorrow. Tomorrow is moving day, okay? Yes, tomorrow is moving day. How are you, little bit? With one of your muck savages. Okay, I've got to go. I've got to go. They're probably all going to follow me down here. Okay, look at this beautiful blossom. Look at the contrast against their wool. Thanks, a little bit. Come here, bear. Brindle. Come on. Hey. Come on. Hey. Hey. A little bit. No. Brindle. Come here. Brindle. Brindle. Good girl. Now. Nope. <laughs> Moving days tomorrow, ladies. You've got plenty of grass still. And I'm going to talk somewhere about farming biodiversity after a wonderful documentary. <laughs> See you later, girls.
Beetles and worms feed bats and birds and deep within the soil. You can guess what happened. I'm not in my winter clothing. <laughs> I am not in my winter clothing. And this, and this jumped up on me. It's not fair. I was admiring the cow parsley. I'm gonna dump you. Come on.